There must be more in the universe than what we see. There are many open questions and mysteries. Many things that we think that they work in a certain way, but we are not sure about it. There's new stuff there, and you will not hear it unless you've built the right type of machine. And then you have that glimpse about nature. They might explain more of the universe than what we understand so far. NACAF is a partnership with six universities. We share one mission, to unite people in the Netherlands with their talents for science and technology and exploring fundamental physics. How the galaxies rotate or how the universe is expanding. There is also antimatter, there is also dark matter. How come neutrinos have masses? These big questions I hope that we can answer. You have to realize that 95% that is out there in the universe is yet unknown to us. Astroparticle physics is where we use subatomic particles in order to understand the processes in the universe. Observing the large scales, but detecting really tiny things, so particles. Black holes that collide into each other or neutron stars already have those high energies that on Earth we cannot make. That could be light, but also neutrinos and gravitational waves. The universe is already sending the signals our way. We will be very crazy not to try to pick them up. Together with international colleagues, we built experiments all around the world. Our action radius goes far beyond the borders of the Netherlands. From gravitational waves in Italy to cosmic rays in Argentina. So it is an international activity. We are a relatively small institute, but we have a very high impact in many different experiments that we do. We don't just follow, we really think together and what will we do so the future that we envision will actually happen. In this field, there are so many questions that you want to answer. How did our universe evolve into the state that we see? What is dark matter? The standard model doesn't say anything about that. So clearly it's wrong, but whenever we test it, it's right. It's very frustrating that the biggest part of the universe is unknown to us. So we want to break the standard model. Collider physics is about small particles and we make them collide. So that's what we do at the net accelerator at CERN. Going to very high energy, which corresponds to the early universe. Then we have those big detectors, which are like the cameras, where we see what happened at the time of the collision. It doesn't come with a little flag saying, hey, I'm a Higgs boson, hey, I'm this kind of particle. And I try to put together what's actually happened at the moment of the collision. So that's what we call data analysis. Think about particle physics, it's that it's not as easy as just building one machine and that will give you all the answers that you are looking for. The LHC is already there and this one is going to get upgraded. It might be the machine that brings you that piece of information that you were kind of missing or expecting. Having worked a lot with the technology and the detectors and close to the accelerator, it's amazing that it, that it actually works. And it only works because we have the same goal and the same vision. The building is as open as we envision our collaboration to be. It really helps us to just bump into people and have these new brainstormings just over a copy of coffee. NICAF is a very open place because there is very little hierarchy that you feel when you have your discussions with your colleagues. You can discuss with researchers that have a lot of experience and they will see you as a researcher, not as a student. You're not a student anymore, you're contributing already. We make progress in science, but it's not just for our own, it's for everybody. It's our mission to do some research that will help humanity. Finding out new rules about nature allows you to develop new technology. Then you can turn it into something that will benefit society. So at NICAP we have these amazing groups. These are all the experts that uh, lay the foundation for the physics uh, that we do. It's nice to work in an environment where this whole chain from building the experiment to analyzing the data, that, that is in one place like the technicians who build the machines. Then we need computing people to filter out the relevant information. And then finally, we need theorists to figure out what do we actually learn about the elementary particles that we are trying to describe. 
It's a collaboration. And collaboration means that we work together with many universities. In fact, many universities make up NICEF. NICEF is not just a partnership, but it's also a home for me. There's an enormous amount of freedom at NICEF to explore crazy, fun ideas that usually end up being very good. NICEF is a place where we can do the best scientific research that can be done in our field in the world while feeling like we are a big family. I'm extremely proud to be part of this very talented NICEF family. At NICEF, science and technology absolutely comes together. Making visible the invisible, but if we realize that challenge, we will advance science and we will advance society as well.